guys, thanks for tuning in again. We are on chapter 10 still, part three of the basics of chemistry in the Milady's nail tech book. We are on solutions, suspensions, and emulsions. Solutions, suspensions, and emulsions are all examples of physical mixtures. The difference among them are determined by the size of the particles and the solubility of the substances. A solution is a stable uniform blend of two or more substances. The solute is a substance that is dissolved into the solution. The solvent is a substance that dissolves the solute and makes the solution. It is the matrix that holds the solute. Water is an extremely powerful and useful solvent. Water is known as a universal solvent because it has the ability to dissolve more substances than any other known solvent. When two liquids are mixed, they are determined to be either miscible or immiscible. Miscible liquids are mutually soluble, meaning that they can be mixed together to form stable solutions that cannot be easily separated. Water and rubbing alcohol are examples of miscible liquids, as are acetone, polish remover, and water. Immiscible liquids are not capable of being mixed into stable solutions. Water and oil are examples of immiscible liquids. No matter how they will be mixed, eventually these two liquids will separate. Solutions are sol soluble mixtures created when a solid, all solid particles have completely dissolved and all liquid components are completely soluble. Solutions are usually transparent, although they may be colored. They do not separate when left to stand undisturbed. Salt water is a solution of a solid dissolved in a liquid. Water is a solvent that dissolves the salt, solute, and holds in the solution. The salt is no longer a solid because it is in its individual molecules are now separated and moving freely in the water. Artificial nail molymers are examples of solutions that contain both dissolved solids and blends of soluble liquids. Suspensions are unstable mixtures of undissolved particles floating in a liquid. Suspensions contain larger and less miscible particles than solutions. The particles are generally visible to the naked eye but not large enough to settle quickly to the bottom. Suspensions are not usually transparent and may be colored. Suspensions are unstable and separate over time, which is why lotions, creams, and glitter and nail polish may separate in a bottle. Oil and vinegar salad dressing is an example of a suspension with tiny oil droplets temporarily suspended in the vinegar. The suspension will separate when left standing undisturbed. The dressing must be shaken before it's poured into a salad. Some lotions are suspensions and need to be shaken or mixed well before use. Calamine lotion, liquid mineral makeup, and nail polish are examples of suspensions. An emulsion is an unstable physical mixture of two or more substances that normally will not stay blended without a special ingredient called an emulsifier. An emulsifier brings two normally incompatible materials together and binds them into a uniform and fairly stable blend. Eventually, emulsions separate but usually very slowly over time. A properly formulated emulsion stored under ideal conditions can be stable for up to three years. Even so, it is best to use cosmetic products such as these within one year of purchase and ensure peak performance. Always refer to the product's instructions and cautions before for specific details. Table 10-2 offers a summary of the differences among solutions, suspensions, and emulsions. Surfactants are substances that are often used as emulsifiers since they can act as a bridge to allow oils and water to mix or emulsify and form emulsions. The term surfactant is a contraction for surface active agent. A surfactant molecule has two distinct parts, 10-7. The head of the surfactant molecule hydrophilic means, meaning water loving, the tail is lipophilic, meaning oil loving. As the old saying set goes, like dissolves like. This is true for surfactants. The hydrophilic head dissolves in water and the lipophilic tail dissolves in oil. So as surfactant molecule mixes with, the, with and dissolves in both oil and water and temporarily links them together to form an emulsion. In an oil in water OW emulsion, oil droplets are formed emulsified in water. 
The droplets of oil are surrounded by surfactants tints with the lipophilic tails pointing inward toward the center of the droplet. These tiny oil droplets form an OW emulsion because of the oil is completely surrounded by water. An oil and water emulsion does not feel as greasy as water and oil emulsion because the oil is in lower concentration than the water is hidden by the surfactant molecules that completely surround it. Mayonnaise is an example of an oil and water emulsion made of two normally miscible liquids. Although oil and water are usually immiscible, the egg yolks behave as a surfactant in mayonnaise that emulsifies the oil as oil droplets in the water matrix. Without the egg yolks as an emulsifying agent, the oil and water would separate. Most of the emulsions used in the salon are oil and water. Lotions and creams are common examples. In a water and oil emulsion, water droplets are emulsified in the oil. The droplets of water are surrounded by surfactants with their hydrophilic heads pointing in. Tiny droplets of water form the internal portion of the water oil emulsion because the water is completely surrounded by oil. Water oil emulsions feel greasier than oil water emulsions because the water is hidden and oil forms the external portion of the emulsion. Foot balms are an example since water oil emulsions are so oily, they are often they are not often used in a nail salon product. Other physical mixtures, ointments, paste, pomades, and salon waxes are semi-solid mixtures made with an, any combination of petroleum jelly, oil, and wax. Powders are a physical mixture of one or more types of solids. White and colored polymer powders are examples of mixtures of powder and pigments. Common product ingredients. Some of the most common chemical ingredients used in a salon are described below. Most people are familiar with volatile alcohols. They evaporate easily. Examples include isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and ethyl alcohol or alcoholic beverages. But there are many other types of alcohol and sideral alcohol are non-volatile alcohol waxes that are used in skin conditioners. Glycerin is a sweet, colorless, oily substance. It is used as a solvent and as a moisturizer in skin and body creams. Silicones are a special type of ingredient best used in nail polish dryers and skin protectants. Silicones form a breathable film that does not cause comedones or blackheads. Silicones also impart a silky, smooth feel on the skin and great shine to hair. Volatile organic compounds or VOCs are compounds that contain carbon organic and evaporate very quickly, meaning that they are volatile. For example, volatile organic solvents such as ethyl acetate and isopropyl alcohol are used in nail polish, base and top coats, and polish removers. Potential hydrogen or pH, although pH, the abbreviation used for potential hydrogen, is often discussed with regard to salon products, it is one of the least understood chemical properties. Notice that the term pH is written with a small p, which represents the quantity, and a capital H, which represents a hydrogen ion. Understanding that pH is how it affects the skin and nails is essential to understanding salon services.